Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the three subconscious reasons why men pull away, pull away. Uh, really quickly, if the content here resonates with you, this video is similar to the three videos I shoot per week in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. There's a link below to check it out. Uh, this is a group, a private group, for less than $20 a month where you can have direct access to me on a regular basis. And those three videos I shoot are based on the questions asked in the group. I have a Facebook page and a once a month webinar where you can talk to me on the phone directly. So check out the link below called Midlife Love Mastery. Okay, those three ah, subconscious reasons why men pull away. All right, so most men and women who are in midlife want at least one basic thing and they want, that, that are actively out there in the dating realm, let me just say this, so those who are actively out in the dating realm, are seeking companionship, connection, and sex. Companionship, connection, and sex. In other words, they want someone to do something with, they want someone to connect with, and they want someone to have sex with. And that's kind of the base primal need of why people are out there in the dating realm. So this differentiates from those in their folks in their 20s and 30s because men and women who are in their 20s and 30s typically are driven from a biological perspective to get married and well not necessarily a biological perspective to get married but to start a family okay so the drive for most men particularly in their 20s and 30s they're seeking a wife so they're very intentional with the dating process but here's what happens at midlife you most likely go through a divorce because 75% of the people, and this is anecdotal, of those who are out in the dating realm are divorced, um, are seeking that companionship connection and sex because they don't have a, 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 a destination, if you will. They don't have a necessarily a um, drive for partnership. Especially, and the more traumatic their marriage was, the less likely they want partnership in the future. Now, that's not to say codependent personalities immediately want partnership right away, or they want that companionship, connection, and sex so right away that they fill that void very quickly, but they're not intentional always in the partnership realm. So they may get married very quickly, those codependent personalities, but doesn't mean they're ready for partnership. All right, so you tracked me so far. So you're probably wondering, what are those three subconscious reasons? Okay, number one. Um, here, I gotta put on my glasses because I wrote this down. Oh, you loved him more than he could receive. You loved him more than he could receive. In other words, you cared for him more than his capacity to care for you. Now this is on a subconscious level. And when a man feels from a subconscious level that you are love him more than he can love you back, then his natural reaction is to run away, okay? That's what pulling away is. Pulling away is running away because they're scared. They're scared for a variety of different reasons. So one reason is he's unable to receive your love. Number two, gotta put my glasses back on. You gave more to the relationship and he felt inadequate. Okay, very similar to number one, but you gave more to the relationship. You were, you were more demonstrative in your relationship. You were more effusive in the relationship. Oh, I used some big words. You may have to Google them. <laughs> um, you gave more to the relationship and he felt inadequate. By the way, my cup says optimize life, optimize life. And my t-shirt is Black Sabbath. Um, I actually saw them in concert myself, uh, but when I saw this, um, Tony Stark was wearing it in an Iron Man movie, or an, excuse me, in an Avengers movie, I had to get it. Uh, <laughs> if you like my shirt, please post a comment, let me know. Optimize Life is a friend of mine who's a hypnotherapist, um, and she helps you heal what ails you. <laughs> I don't know else how to say it. Okay, so he felt inadequate. Again, this is a subconscious reason why a man pull, might pull away, okay? These are all subconscious. In other words, he's not, these, these reasons why men pull away, and I'll share the third one in a moment, is because he's not in a space of loving himself, loving himself. You know, 
we always think of uh, maturity as people who are responsible in our life, but I'm here to encourage emotional maturity, emotional groundedness, emotional grown-up. And the one of the, pa the path to emotional maturity is self-love. It's one of the reasons why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? See the title, Jonathan Asley right there. Check out the link below. <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to get a copy of a, my book, um, I also have my Jonathan Recommends books. Um, and this is, holds true for women as well. When we're not loving on ourselves, we choose partners typically that aren't adequate for ourselves. So when a person isn't loving on themselves, they can feel inadequate in the relationship. So when you give more to the relationship, they have to pull away because they don't feel adequate. And then that third reason Oh, you understand him beyond his mask. You understand him beyond his mask and he felt exposed. <sighs> there is many of you women are very empathetic, very caring in relationship and you can see beyond. You can see someone's potential. You see beyond the mask that they put on. I was in a relationship where a woman said, I see you with rose colored glasses. What she meant is, I saw all the potential in you, but you don't see it in yourself. And she was so right. This was right after my divorce. And I know that I went through this chaotic period of going through the tunnel. I talk about the tunnel in other videos. That tunnel is that midlife crisis space. And I felt so exposed that I had to pull away because I didn't feel like I could live up to the potential of this relationship. So how do you avoid this trap? Because this is a trap. How do you avoid this? And I'm gonna encourage you to do the following, okay? Now, if you're, if you're already in a seasoned relationship, you can still do this, but this is for those who are, before you become intimate with a man, before you become intimate with a man, before the penis gets to go inside the vagina. Oh, I haven't cursed yet. Fuck, <laughs> this is my new way of cursing. But the penis hasn't gone into the vagina yet. You have to read this book called Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman and Julie Gottman, Eight Dates. And basically, if he wants to have sex with you, you both read this book together. These are eight dates to determine if you're, if you're compatible with one another. Now here's the thing about men. If he's already feeling inadequate inside, if he doesn't feel like he can give to the relationship, he's gonna run away. And the good news, he ran away before you got intimate, before you bonded with him. And that's what I'd like to encourage you to do. And if you don't feel comfortable with the book Eight Dates, then start with the book, The Five Love Languages. The Five Love Languages. I've had so many women, before they became intimate with a man, had the man do the Five Love Languages test online. You can go online to do the test, okay? Um, and to decide if you guys speak each other's love language. This is a good start, but I want to encourage you eight dates. And if you're already in a seasoned relationship and you're wondering if this is the right relationship for you, then introduce the book. Because here's what's going to happen. Only a man who genuinely doesn't care about you is going to reject it. Only a man who's controlling and unable to receive love is going to reject it. Only a man who feels uh, inadequate in himself and doesn't love himself is going to reject it. And also controlling and narcissistic people will reject it as well, okay? So you want that to happen because ultimately what's the point of spending time with someone if you're not gonna go the distance? Sadly, most people are in casual relationships, and I'm here to encourage a different way of doing it. I know you can follow everyone else's advice and just have a good time. It's all about having a good time. You know what? We should just have a good time and not really vet one another. Well, that's a crock of shit in my book. Vetting is an important aspect of this relationship process, of this dating process. And if you need support on that, that's my specialty. Check out the link to a free discovery call with me because my specialty is helping teach you how to vet for emotionally available men so you can avoid this trap very quickly. If you want personalized advice, check out the link below to schedule a free discovery call with me. But not but, and I'm trying to work on not saying but in my vocabulary, and vocabulary, <laughs> and, and. 
when you learn how to do this, you will approach the dating process in a whole different way. And the benefit of this is that you're gonna attract someone more aligned to who you are and what you want. So if you need support, check out that link below. Listen, I've recommended a lot of great books. Sadly, most people are just seeking those basic needs of companionship, connection, and sex. And their capacity to go any further is limited. This is why you want to introduce this work as soon as possible. Because a man who's able to step up to the process of commitment, a man who can step up and he genuinely wants to step up with you is gonna meet you where you're at. And isn't that really what you want anyway? All right, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Please post a comment below. Please post a question. I read all of them or I do my best to read all of them and I even try to respond to most of them. Uh, if you find value, get, check out the links below. And I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.